Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this HCSR501 motion sensor with a relay to control an AC ball alarm or another load using Arduino. Now there is no motion. If I bring my hand, it just detects it and turns on the light. You can get the code for this project by clicking on the link of the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Three pins here. This goes to five volts from the left side where there is a diode. This goes to five volts. You can connect it up to 20 volts. Uh, doesn't matter because we have a voltage regulator. Internally it will regulate it. But in Arduino, it just connected to 5 volts. This is connected to the uh, pin 4 of our Arduino, and this is a ground. It's here, ground is here, the middle one is a signal. Potentiometer, this is for the sensitivity. When you rotate this and play with this, it will be sensitive to uh, 3 meters up to 7 meters. You can reduce the distance with playing with this. So that's, uh, that needs a little effort, so you can get the right result. If you wanted the more sensitive one, just uh, turn it to the left fully or turn it to the light, right fully. And this is the delay adjust. This can be adjusted from 5 seconds to 300 seconds. If you rotate it counterclockwise, that will be the shortest time, like 5 seconds. Because if you rotate it to the right, it will react so late, you cannot wait 3 minutes, 4 or 5 minutes to see uh, when it goes off. Because as soon as it uh, re receive a motion it will turn on and wait until this time is over so if you set this to five seconds in five seconds it will turn off but if you set it for long it will be always on and it will control your uh, relay on for a long time and you think it's defective it's not so just make sure initially to turn it to the left fully so that's the shortest one which is around five seconds and here this is a jumper if you set this on this side, this is repeated. Repeated means uh, if one motion comes, it triggers it, and another, so and then that the timer starts to go towards zero. If another motion happens, it starts over again. This is called repeated. So continuously, any new motion will trigger it. But if you remove this uh, jumper and put it here, this will be only once, which means if the motion is detected, this will turn on, and it waits for the time. If another motion until this goes off and another motion happens, this will not react. So the timer will continue to, to reach if it's 5 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it is. So I prefer this one. If there is a new motion, it should just reset it. So that depends on your application. And inside this, this is just a housing. The actual sensor is internally. Uh, let me just open this. So that is actually done. This is just a uh, cover to protect it and also direct the wave of infrared uh, to this. And here is the relay. The relay uh, has three pins here. So the middle one and here is called normally. So the middle and on this side is called normally connected and the middle and this side is normally open. You you will connect one wire here and one wire here. So this is normally open. When the signal comes, this will, this wire will be connected to this wire as if I connect the two wire here, short circuit. Normally, if you connect it here, it will be like this. They are connected. When the relay energizes, it just disconnect these two wires. For this video, we are using these two to be connected. And here we have three wires. From this side, this is VCC, which, be, which will be connected to five volts. This is ground, and this is the input. Uh, which will come from pin 4. Uh, we have two LEDs here. This is a power LED and this is the uh, when the signal comes and the LED is energized this light will turn on green telling you that there is a signal. So another important characteristic of the relay is the current that it can handle. As you can see it has been rated as 10 amp for all voltages. And how you calculate it is for example in Europe and Asia we have 220 volts for 220, 10 ampere times 220 will be 2,200 watt. So you can control at 2.2 kilowatt or 2,200 watt 
a load or light or whatever device you want to control. And if you are in North America, mm, I'm on Japan, this will be 120, so 120 times 10 is 1,200 watt with this relay. If you're using 28 volts or 30 volts, so this is the rating 10 amp, so just multiply by this, just put another zero, 280 watt load at DC. So keep that in mind, if you overload this, the relay will burn and it might cause fire. Now let's have a look at the motion sensor's technical information. Uh, and it works with between 5 to 20 volts. And the power consumption is 65 milliampere, if you want to know it. The angle that it works is 120 degrees up to 7 meters. And the temperature that it can operate between minus 15 to 70 degrees Celsius. And here is the dimension of the device. Here is the schematic of this. I will provide the link for this so you can download it if you want. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light fitted to the wall outlet and the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay the relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnect it will be off I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into uh, connector with a screw let me explain the wiring the two wires that I showed you will be connected at the middle and this side this is a low trigger which means at the low signal it will turn on and at the high it will turn off but in case if your relay is on the other way Keep the, the middle one the same, just move this wire into this one if it behaves on the opposite. For example, when there is no motion, it will turn on, and when there is motion, it will turn off. Then change this wire to here. Otherwise, this is the, the two pin that is normally open. And if you look at the diagram here, that is a, the, this pin and this pin. So this is normally open. When it energizes, it connects. But these two wires are normally connected as you can see so you do not connect here and here but the middle will never move so you, you use these two and now here vcc is connected to 5 volts in arduino ground is connected to the ground the last one is the n it's connected to pin 3 and for the motion sensor from the right this is vcc connected to 5 volt here in arduino and the middle one is the signal connected to pin 2 in Arduino and this side is a ground connected here to the ground of Arduino. Uh, let me explain the code now. I'm using also serial monitor. When there is a motion it should display motion detected. And when if there is nothing it says nothing moves. This uh, pin is a sensor as constant so the program will not be able to change it once the execution is started so pin 2, two is for the sensor input and pin 4 is for the relay and this is 9600 baht for the serial monitor and this number at the bottom must match that 9600 baht otherwise you will not be able to see it these two lines are the text and here we set the sensor pin as an input that is that pin sensor pin this is as if I type 2 here, and this is a sensor uh, output pin, um, a relay pin for uh, output. Inside the loop, we are going uh, using digital read to read the sensor pin. Whatever is the status will be stored in motion as an integer of 1 or 0. When the motion is detected, it will be 1. When there is no motion, it will be 0. And here we check F motion. I did not put here equal, equal 1 because one means true and you can simply just say if motion that means if motion is true or equal one then we use this one motion detected printed and also we set the relay pin as low the reason uh, for using low is that the module that i use will be turned on when it's low and when it and then Otherwise, if the motion is not there, we set this nothing moves, this text here, and we set the relay as high. If your relay behaves the opposite way, change this to high and change this to low. Then we wait here for 500 milliseconds and the loop continues like that. Now let me demonstrate it. So if, a, if an object comes, it detects it. There is a delay between the time that it detects for a few milliseconds 
and the sensitivity of this device. So this, with this potentiometer, you can s set the sensitivity between three to seven meters. So it can work up to seven meters any object that moves, it detects it. And this is the delay timer. For example, if you want this one, uh, when this is engaged, so how long it should stay, you can decrease or increase it. So the time that you can set with this potentiometer, the delay time between three seconds to 300 seconds. So let's set this. Now I'm setting it a little longer. Let's see how long this is. As you said, it, it was very long. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this HCSR501 motion sensor with relay to control an AC bulb. I will have a lot of other fun videos, so pr don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Other projects and cool sensor and codes, please visit robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino or follow the link in the description so you can get all those and download them.